In the game Planet Crafter, there are golden chests. Maybe you have already found some of these. Maybe you found all of them. Well, currently in the game, as of posting this video, there are 12 chests with the caves and crater update. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where they are with the coordinates and kind of an easy way to find them. So if you're a new player, before you go running off to find all of these golden chests, you might want to make sure you get at least the basic stuff set up to where you are at least minimally equipped and you are waiting to reach the blue sky aspect. All of these are accessible at any point in the game, though two of these are going to be a little easier if you have the jetpack, but are not a necessity to have the jetpack. You want to make sure you have your basic supplies as well, food, water, and maybe oxygen capsules so you can restore your oxygen. Though, I have a better suggestion because Planet Crafter, the power is shared globally between all of your planetary power production. Even at the very beginning, nothing special needed. All you need is the supplies for a basic base, a single living compartment and the door, which means you need three iron, two titanium, and one silicon. You also, of course, will need at least the upgrades like the construction ship and the deconstruction ship so you can build and then break down your temporary bases. And in order to access the golden crates, you will need the torch microchip. So again, make sure you have stuff prepared. But with all that said, let's get started with all 12 locations of the golden crates. So the first one we're going to look at is the starting valley this is the original starting place though there are more starting places that you can get after this you can randomize you can go specifically other places but in the starting valley you look up the hill you're gonna see this big wreck at the top of the hill and what you're gonna do is when you come up towards the doorway here you're going to actually just walk around this side because you just need to jump onto the little uh ramp little slope here come around in between these two kind of not thrusters but they are like little oval excerpts here and right here you have a golden crate and those are the items you get inside the golden crate the second golden chest is actually going to be pretty easy to find here as well is also in the starting valley and if you're coming from the shipwreck you look towards the cliff wall to the right as you're coming down the hill it's over in that direction so here i am looking up the hill at the big wreck and what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna see if you follow right along the wall itself the cliff edge you're gonna come up around this corner here and you're gonna see the golden crate it's easy to find if you follow the wall but if you were looking from lower in the starting area you're going to miss it because of the ridge preventing view of it but it's right there it's not that hard to find just follow the cliff wall like i said and bam there you go that's what's inside golden crate number three is going to be in what's called the iridium mine and you'll know it because it's the first area you're gonna see with the sand falling towards the entrance and all this nice lighting inside from cracks up in the roof of it so when you come in to the iridium mine from the starting area side entrance just follow along the left side here you'll go up the slope here and we will just keep going as far as we can over to the left we're gonna find this other little spot here and if you're doing this early in the game then you're gonna find this nice big area of ice it's the cave that leads into the sulfur area if you've already melted the ice then just find the cave you're up on the top ridge what you want to do is walk over here and start looking down along the edge of the ridge along this section right here this last rock formation right here you see this flat kind of plate looking rock and right behind it, we have the third golden crate. Coming out of the Iridium mine, you'll see another wreck nearby. And right next to it is what's being called the Labyrinth. If you go through towards the back of it, you're going to find another shipwreck there. Now, while it is a longer trip, you can actually walk around either outside edge of this and basically come around to the backside and walk in to the area with the shipwreck. So when you're looking at the wreck, you want to be on the underside of it and on the side opposite of the ramp that comes down. From here, you're going to go as far as you can towards 
the edge of this little basin. So you see how I'm looking at the ship right now and my back is to the wall. I'm going to turn and go into this little area to the right and right here behind this uh, railing, you know, uh, scaffolding, whatever it is, we're going to find crate number four. Now this big open area with all of these little pillars between the Iridium Cave and the Labyrinth is being called the Central Plateau, or at least that's the way it is on the wiki. So we're gonna go with the Central Plateau area and there is a golden crate here. However, I am I decided to wait because it's over this way going towards the aluminum area, not in the actual main area. So as you approach the edge of the aluminum fields where you can see the shiny, shiny boulders, big rock formations. There's this little kind of looks like what would be a riverbed and eventually will be like a small little riverbed. But we're looking for these bridge formations and you're actually looking for not the thick one there, but this little kind of disheveled broken one that's close to the large rock wall there. It's this one that once you have water in here, it's a lot easier to find this. But since I'm showing you, you don't have to wait for the water because the golden crate is right here underneath the flat part of this bridge. In the aluminum fields, you're probably going to get a little turned around just because how everything looks kind of similar. It's very shiny. There's not a lot of distinction right now. So if you find the wreck in the middle, which is pretty easy to see once you start moving through, just come to the back of the wreck right over here. So you're kind of, you know, facing the direction it was moving. It looks like you're going to turn and go left out here towards the open space where you can see that there's a break in the aluminum rocks and it just opens up a bit. And when you do that, come out past the big formation that you'll pass on your right and just loop around to the back and right there golden crate also you can just you know walk in from the far side over there and hope you see it so the next golden crate i'm going to show you is in the cracked spires this is obviously the cracked spires because they're spires now you could get here from the aluminum fields by continuing to walk through and head you know in the direction of the red glow or red mistiness or you could actually come here by going across the lake bed in the starting area or what will become the lake bed. And so there's two different ways to get here. But basically the easiest way to find the golden crate is to start with the big wreck right here. It's the one furthest on this edge. Uh, you know, of the two is gonna be the one closest to the little wall there. That's the one that's closer to the aluminum area. You come to this one and we're gonna go around to the back of this pillar right here this one right there so it is literally a hop away from that wreck just come right over here behind this cracked spire and there's your golden crate so for golden crate number eight i'm going with the one in the gate desert this is the big warp gate looking thing like a big stargate it says warp gate though we're not getting sued for stargate but it's right there and you see how i'm lining up on this side of it i'm not perfectly even but I, I'm almost even. I can see a little bit of the far edge of the ring. And I'm going to turn backwards, 180. And you see I have a big formation of rocks here, a big boulder right here, and this little itty boo one right there in the middle. That's the one we're going to. Now, this is not the boulder you're looking for. However, once you get to this boulder, you go straight past it to the next boulder. So now, in the distance, you see I'm still looking right there at the gate itself and i turn right here on the second little boulder and right here in the middle is that now again this is probably one is easier to get here with a jetpack though you can kind of jump your way up on top and down inside and back out on the other side of the gate desert area we have a canyon i think of it as the canyon but the wiki and other people are calling it the great rift the grand rift i think of it kind of like the grand canyon you just have this this area and you know it's a big canyon so you see the gate in the distance i just came in and i'm going to stick to this side of the canyon and you're actually going to pass by a cave right over here so there's the little iridium cave right there past the leaning pillar but in this video, I'm not worried about that. This is about golden chests. So keep going along this side of the canyon. 
Now, as you approach the end of the canyon, as it starts to loop around, you're going to see this last standing pillar and a, a broken pillar right here. So once you get to this point, you're actually going to come around here to the standing pillar and it's on the other side of it. If you go past to where there's no more pillars, then you need to come back to this one. Also, if you loop all the way around to where there is the bit of shipwreck over there, you just need to come back around this way to the one standing pillar here next to the broken pillar, and the chest is on the backside of the pillar. So for crate number 10, we're going all the way past the Dune Desert. This is right over there, kind of between the Labyrinth and the Iridium Mine. You see another big wreck over there. It's just a bunch of sand dunes. And as you get past it, it doesn't look like much now, but trust me, once you get some plants and water going, it's going to look a lot better here. But this is basically being called the Highlands. Uh, I've also seen it referred to as the Lush Valley. I kind of like it. I mean, there's Highlands up there, but this is kind of more of a valley. Anyway, you're coming here for number 10. Now, from this side of the big ship in the dunes, you actually want to head towards the big rock here at the edge of where the Lush Valley Highlands is. You see that peak It's this one right over here. You want to head to this area. And so you then want to scale down, either going jumping on the rocks or walking your way around to the lower section here. And you see how we've got this one that's kind of straddling between two rocks right there. We got that gap. You want to go to the side of it, into this little area right here. And you're gonna turn and see how there's this tiny little crack here between them. Bam, there's your golden crate, there's your goodies. Now, the last two I combined together because they are very close together. They are in the Sand Falls area, which is behind where you find the sulfur uh, fields. And you'll notice the Sand Falls because it's a bunch of sand falling along a ridge. What you wanna do for the first one is look as you're facing the Sand Falls wall Look to the left side. You see how it's got this nice little kind of petering off curve angle to it. It's actually pointing towards the rocks you need to go to. So there's this formation of boulders sitting out in the little bit of sand dunes right towards the edge where the sand is falling. You just want to walk over here and you're going to go right in to the middle area and bam. It's at the back between the big cliff wall and these boulders. Golden Crate number 11. And with that, we now have Golden Crate number 12, the newest one added with the Caves and Crater update. And I'm going to go over here towards the rightmost side. Uh, you can kind of see how it's tapering off there with the sand falls. I'm going over here and you see at the top of this little hill, there is a regular blue crate. Now, what you want to do is use this as kind of your guide. So I'm looking at this crate. I'm looking at the direction it's kind of pointing. And I see this big boulder and that big boulder. The boulder to the left past the other, the little rock sticking out of the wall there. That is what we are going towards. This is definitely a case for this approach. You want to have a jetpack. And as you come out of the sand falls, you should be up around the rock formation. If you aimed it right, you will be right there and see the golden crate. If not, you may have to go around to the left because you can end up over here on this side. Just follow along. If you go past the rocks to where you're in a big open area with a lot of space and you see the arches in the distance, you, you've gone too far. You need to go back around the boulder. And with that in mind, you can't always come from the direction of the new arches biome, which will just mean you kind of want to go towards the edge of the sand falls where the sand is falling and then follow it along to this big boulder formation. So it looks like you can't go any further and then you're going to go around the corner, come back up and there is golden crate number 12. Enjoy. And so there you go. All 12 golden crates, including what each one contains as of the Caves and Crater update. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already.